first video of the 7 Days of K. I'm kicking it off with a prom makeup tutorial. I don't have any for this year up yet and I wanted to bring you guys this video. Um, if you are wearing, you know, blue or even black, you can do this makeup look. You can switch whatever you like. Um, you don't have to do every step. So this is a very nice blue smoky eye with nude lips, obviously. And um, it's very glowy. I love to be glowy. I love to do my prom girls very glowy. It is prom, so you want to be, you know, glammed up. And, you know, you want to look different from, you want to look different from what you normally look like. Because it's prom. Like, it's a once in a lifetime thing. So, yeah. Make, just go for it. Just go for it. Don't be afraid to wear makeup. Trust your makeup artist. They know what they're doing, obviously, because you booked an appointment with, the, with them. So, trust your makeup artist to do... Um, you know, what they have to do to make you beautiful, well, more beautiful, just enhance your beauty, darling. <laughs> so if you're interested in how I achieve this look, then just keep on watching. <laughs> so I am so totally missing my natural sunlight right now, like, so bad, oh my goodness. Alright, so we're gonna keep it moving. <laughs> and it's a jumbo pencil in milk, and just placing that on the eye as our base. You want a nice a nice coat of this because it's going to um, allow our shadows to be very pigmented and true to color. So yeah, that's what you want to do. It's so like it's about to get dark outside. I'm actually um yeah it's it's kind of like nighttime ish outside right now. That's why it's the lighting is kind of weird in this video. I'm taking Kid from Mac. And this is a neutral color that I love to put into my crease, my transition area when I am um, doing colorful eyeshadow looks. And that's Kid from MAC. We're going to place that in the transition area very nicely. We want them eyeshadows to blend. 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 I'm just using a blend, like a, a, it's not really fluffy, but it's, it's a nice size blending brush. So I'm going to take a little bit of Concrete from MAC, and that's like a gray tone color. So I'm just taking that on a blending brush very lightly. I'm going to type, tap off the excess right below our transition area and just kind of really just whispering it onto the, to the transition area. Because I didn't want this to be too dark. So I'm taking um, Periwinkle from Coastal Scents. It's a periwinkle color. <laughs> and I'm going to go over that concrete. I'm, bas I'm using the same brush. I just wanted this to be um, a little bit more bluer. I want it, initially I wanted a light blue color in this transition area. The concrete was just a little bit too gray tone for me. I'm gonna go back and blend a little bit with the brush we applied Kid with. Blend back and forth and back and forth and back. I'm taking Electric Blue, also from Coastal Scents. It's a gorgeous color. Uh, mine is a little jacked up right now, but that's okay. It's Electric Blue. So we want to concentrate this kind of sort of in the crease. We'll just start building it up slowly. Just blending back and forth with it. I'm not going to pick up too much product with this color. Because it's really just like another transition basically. Don't be afraid to work with blue eyeshadow. It's definitely a little bit difficult. Um, because it's such a stark color. <laughs> so like, ah, blue eyeshadow. <laughs> But it doesn't have to look like ah blue eyeshadow. It doesn't at all. If you do it the right way, you take your time to like blend out the colors and everything. It it can look very nice. So now I'm taking indigo, and that's from Coastal Scents as well. Coastal Scents eyeshadows are super 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 affordable. So make sure you check them out. All right. So I'm taking that on a smaller blending brush, and I'm gonna slowly start building that up into the crease. And we want, the trick is to layer 
the colors and like go from light to dark to get that nice transition and that night gradient effect that nice gradient effect and sometimes I just like to make sure that I'm bringing the color the color up um, enough so it matches on both eyes So for our lid color today, I'm going to go into my BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette. I love this palette. It's affordable as well. And um, it's like a great dupe for the um, Urban Decay Electric palette. So if you don't have that, you should definitely get this. And it's so, so, it's great quality. And the um, shadows are really, really nice. So yeah, you should check them out. This color here. I'm taking this color here and mixing it with a little bit of this. this color here and mixing it with this but mostly this color <laughs> so now I'm just going to I'm not going to add any extra extra product I'm just going to take the brush that we applied um, indigo with and blend that out and blend with a little bit more of Cade. So I'm taking some of Concrete from MAC and also Carbon from MAC. I'm going to mix those two together. I want a nice color to highlight the, the inner corner so I went into my Urban Decay smoked, uh, Smoky palette and I'm taking the color high and that's this one right here. Just some, I just want to bring some light to this area. my under eye up with a little bit of uh, my cellar water from Garnier any makeup remover is fine all right so I'm gonna do my liner if you want an in-depth tutorial on how I do it then I will leave a link okay so if you're getting ready for prom make sure that you drink tons of water the week before and you know you exfoliate your skin maybe like two three days before and do not do not do not do not do not go and get waxed the day of and the reason is because your skin is going to be irritated and maybe red and you know you don't know if you're going to have a reaction to something or whatever because things things that usually don't happen will happen that day i'm telling you right now <laughs> things that usually do not happen will happen that day and you're going to be very pissed off so go get waxed maybe like two three days before prom okay so if you're getting ready for prom make sure that you drink tons of water the week before and you know you exfoliate your skin maybe like two three days before and do not do not do not do not do not go and get waxed the day of and the reason is because your skin is going to be irritated and maybe red and you know you don't know if you're going to have a reaction to something or whatever because things things that usually don't happen will happen that day i'm telling you right now Things that usually do not happen will happen that day and you're going to be very pissed off. So, go get waxed maybe like two, three days before prom. Make sure you do your makeup trials and your hair trials so you can, um, you know, know exactly what you want and you know that it's going to be nice. You know that the hairstylist or the makeup artist can actually do that particular style you want. Um, make sure that you've seen both. You've seen your hair and your makeup together because sometimes certain makeup doesn't go with um, certain hair that you may have so that's that's possible um, make sure that it you know it matches your dress so um, there, you know there's just some tips that you want to some things you want to take under consideration um, you know the week of your prom you want to make sure that you definitely exfoliate your skin um, like two to three days and you know wax two to three days beforehand and drink lots of 
glitter, guys. So my favorite primers are the Smashbox Photo Finish Primers and um, the Nivea Men's po Post Shave Balm. So I'm going to be using the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm today just because um, I have a lot of it and I guess I, not, I can't waste it, but um, I'm, I'm actually like going to take this off once I'm done recording. So yeah, um, I don't really use this that often because I do like the Smashbox Photo Finish a little bit better. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to use my Nivea Mend Post Shave Balm and I'm going to apply that with my Beauty Blender. And you want to definitely, definitely do your eye makeup before your face. Just in case you have any fallout. So now you want to get rid of any pores you may have um you know any large pores you may have so you want to fill you're going to want to fill them and i love to use the um z pore instant pore refiner and it's from good skin labs i'm not really sure exactly where you can find this brand but i got it from my from my job so i mainly like to focus that in the t-zone area because um I find that that is where my pores are largest and that's I find that's where I get oily too and this helps with uh, controlling oils so color correcting is very very important it's definitely an important step in doing your makeup um, you want to just color correct any darkness that you may have any redness you may have any skin imperfection that you think that you need to cover up you can do that now with whatever you know you like I like to use the LA girl pro LA girl pro conceal in the um, orange corrector if you have darkness under your eyes make sure you take it under there and that's just gonna cancel it out I like to just blend mine out with a brush So I love, I love to set that using a powder. Um, I feel like it just locks it in place and it it lasts a little bit longer. It helps your makeup last longer. Once you like, um, you know, you set it with the powder. I feel like the powder also keeps me from getting too oily during the day. So I like to do that before I apply my foundation. So I love, I love to set that using a powder. Um, I feel like it just locks it in place and it it lasts a little bit longer it helps your makeup last longer once you like um you know you set it with the powder I feel like the powder also keeps me from getting too oily during the day so I like to do that before I apply my foundation Not a great affordable foundation that performs like a you know expensive foundation that is like the best foundation of the world the best foundation of the world to me is the Maybelline Dream Velvet. It's a soft matte finish. It says it's a hydrating matte, but I believe that this is a great foundation for every every skin type. Um, for my oily skin people, it does not make you extra oily. And for my dry skin girls, it does not um, completely matte you out, but it's still very nice. The coverage on this is bomb. I love it so much. You really don't need a lot. A little bit goes a long way. It has a gel-like consistency. And I don't know, I just, I find that it, that is so beautiful on, on the skin. This is the foundation that I use in my kit for my prom girls and my clients. And this is, um, I'm just blending that in with a e.l.f flat top kabuki this is a full coverage foundation definitely like a medium to full coverage I just like to go over that using a damp beauty blender so if you're not afraid of a little coverage and you definitely want that photo photo finish look the MAC Studio um, Studio Fix Powder 
is definitely for you. It's a full coverage powder foundation, but it's absolutely wonderful to set foundation with. It photographs beautifully and just really just locks the makeup in place and gives it just a really nice finish. Um, it's definitely mattifying, so this is good for my oily skin people. I use this like every day. <laughs> and I've had this for a while and it holds up, it like, it lasts so long. I just love it so much. about you guys but for prom I wanted full coverage highlight and contour BAM makeup like BAM you know what I mean um, and I feel like highlighting and contouring really gives you that just extra BAM that you're looking for um I don't know if you're like me and you wear makeup almost every day um this shouldn't be like you know an issue for you um, but if you don't wear makeup, you don't have you don't have to do this step. But I would recommend it. It just makes you look so much more awake. Your pictures, you look better in your pictures, and you definitely don't have to go as um, dramatic as I go with my highlighting and contouring. But I just love a bright highlighting and contour, highlight a bright highlight, <laughs> and just to blend that out, I like to go back with my powder brush. So you always want to set that into place and I love to bake my um, concealer highlight with Airspun Translucent Powder. It comes in a little, looks like this. I do have a review on this powder so if you guys want to check that out I'll leave um a link below or you know if I forget you can just search up um what I'm talking about <laughs> but what I love to do is just sit and bake my concealer let it sit on there just for like three minutes and then I'm going to show you what I do next <laughs> so what I like to do now is just take my max skin finish in the color dark and just Use that to kind of blend everything together. Take my skin finish in the color deep, um, dark deep, with like an egg, kind of like an egg shaped brush like this, and just go ahead and bronze, start bronzing my face. And this just really brings everything together, blends everything together, and oh, makes the face look really nice and sun-kissed. It's all about being even. Like if you make, if your face is even, it's just gonna look so much nicer. You, If you do like, if you bronze your cheekbones, you definitely wanna bronze your neck. You wanna bronze your forehead. No. Even take some like around the nose, but I'll, I'll do that later with a, a smaller brush. I'm just gonna take that same powder. I'm gonna take that same powder and just go and uh, kind of bronze up my nose a little bit. I don't like going too deep or cool toned with my nose contour because I feel like I don't really need to contour my nose. See what I mean? Just add some definition. I like to contour and I like to take a cool tone brown color. I'm using the MAC um, Warm, Warm Light Definitive Sculpt and Shape Powder with um, a brush like this. It's a contour brush. I just like to hit my cheekbones. Really blend it in. Hit the jawline. 
that just slims the face a little bit get rid of that double chin now you can go back and just blend everything out I like to do that I've seen uh, Manny MUA Patrick Star and that girl Shay XO do this I recently started doing this and that's taking a actual highlighting powder and just going over my highlighted areas and I'm using um, Soft Focus from MAC. Go ahead and blend that out. So for this look for blush, I want to take um, a warm tone blush. Because I feel like um, warm tones look good with blue eyeshadow. So I'm taking um, Toasted Almond from Black Radiance and this is a artesian colored big blush it's beautiful on women of color so I love rehydrating the face with MAC Fix Plus Spray I feel like it brings everything together and it lets the colors like the powder and everything just kind of like blend together really nicely and just like it's not set into the face but I don't know everything just mixes so well and it gets rid of that powdery finish so I'm taking my MAC Fix Plus spray a makeup must have is the Anastasia Beverly Hills that glow kit must have I love using bubbly bubbly and dripping gold and I'm taking that on an elf highlighting brush highlighting fan brush and just hitting the high points of the face to make them really glow and just stand out. Sometimes I'll just take a smaller brush to highlight the, the bridge of the nose. I'm gonna go ahead and put my eyelashes on and um and then I'm gonna um make the decision of whether or not I'm gonna put shadow on the bottom lash line so I will be right back all right so I just went in with feline um that's a pencil from Mac put that on the waterline and just blended it out a little bit with some of my um indigo color and that's pretty much it and then put my lashes and mascara on lashes on the lashes that I have on are the Vegas Night Grand Glamour lashes and they're around nine bucks and they're freaking bomb. They look like mink lashes, but they're not. And they're so pretty. So I'm lining my lips with chestnut. And I, I wanted to initially line my lips with um, cork, but I can't find it. Um, if you have cork from MAC lip liner, use that, but I can't find mine. So I'm just gonna use chestnut very lightly. just using a liquid lipstick because that just stays on longer but I don't have a liquid lipstick that's um that looks like this color and I'm using peach stock from MAC everything I'm just gonna take my wet and mild setting spray and this is all day wear Alright guys, so this is the final look. If you enjoyed watching that, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also share it with a friend. Let me know if you guys use this for your prom makeup this year or any special occasion makeup that you um, any special occasion that you may be going to let me know if you recreate it you can tag me in it on Instagram make sure you follow me I will leave all my social media accounts um, at the end of the video so make sure you check those out leave me a comment below telling me what you would like to see next on my channel thank you for tuning in to the first installment of the seven days of K this is the first video um, countdown to my birthday which is May 1st and yeah, I wanted to just bring you guys this prom look because um, I didn't have one up yet. And I know that prom is like legit right around the corner. I am starting to 
uh, buy my things for my kit and book my clients so if you are in the um, New Jersey area and you want me to do your makeup for prom just let me know you can DM me on Instagram and I will send you my number to book a an appointment or you can just email me I will leave all that information down below in the info section so thank you for watching I hope you really enjoyed the video and you got something from it so I will see you in my next video and that is the next video in the seven days of K I'm so excited for it so 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 excited um, this is going to be really fun. I'm going to bring you a lot of colorful looks this week. Um, some different videos that you have not seen me do before. And I'm very, very excited. So, yeah, guys, I will see you later. Tomorrow, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Have a great day or night or whatever it is, wherever you are. Bye, Sparklets.